in South Africa, I'm going to tell you, we are one of the weakest minded people. We learn, we've learned to adapt too much and accept too much. Me, even if I'd be in chains and in shirts, I'll still stand for my truth. I still represent my truth. Even if it means I must die or I must, I must be hanged on or what, I must be sentenced. But my truth is my truth. Once again, let's try to love one another. Let's try to teach each other about the important things. Let's try to teach each other as men. These conversations that we have, instead of talking about going uh, or to this weekend, yes, to which I have open to an amen, I think they gave 4,000 for Let's talk about life. And what are you going through? What are your struggles? How can we tackle those struggles? Today, before you, I am coming here um, to give a word of advice to the uh, upgrowing uh, boys, especially boys. I'm gonna focus mostly on boys. Uh, but for you, you must be careful. It the world is changed now. Things are no longer the same. Things are not how they seem. You know, what you think is is not what you think is. You know, what she says. It's not sometimes not what she means. So you must always bear that in mind in everything uh, you are doing. You know, I've made a, a lot of mistakes because most of the time I would assume Guta, Guso, and Guso. And by that, Omondu Penas Bonasaga was an easy to go to my list of publishing. So I'm coming here to appeal to the youth of South Africa, of which that which is beginning in not just about stuff that involves women but also about stuff that involves life in general things have changed in life and lot and drastically and the crime is going up because people have absolutely nothing to do by the train show mr benzini like i mean it's just the chaos so what i would uh, like to, to advise you to put in fact let's just do an introspection as a person sit down Think about you and yourself. So we think, you know what? Oba and me, mfuna i, and where do I come from? Even if you feel there's some things that you have done bad, bad, bad things, but at some point you need to understand that um, mistakes are there for you to learn from. Yes, people are gonna judge you, but what matters is what do you do after what happened. So we feel this is my plan in life. No matter what happened, I will never be perfect. I have done so many wrong things and I've done so many right things. But at the end, everything that happens, it happens because you have to learn from that particular uh, moment or that particular thing. So wake up. Think before you do. I mean, don't just think, but thoroughly think before you do. Thoroughly think before you act. You know? Don't, don't act in an instant, you know, don't end, act in an instant because what's going to happen, you are driven by anger and everything that you do out of anger, you, you, you do not really have control over. It's your anger that has control over that. And after, after that, when you're not angry, we realize that, yo, damn, I've messed up. So, let's just be, let's show compassion to, to one another. Let's show sympathy to one another. Let's understand that we are not perfect. There's so many things that happen that is a similar poison that I believe would have been solved. I want to go back to that again. We are a community. Ponies are there to solve things of, for us when we can no longer handle them. There are some issues that will go out to the creator is in the forever. Like it destroys everything forever. It will go to the end of the world. See it as bad. So, as I am still on the case, I am still making sure that I live my best life to the fullest. I let nothing, nothing, nothing disturb me. Not because I'm a strong person or what, but because I have learned to be a strong person. Because in this life that we live in, you have to be a strong person. Because life is still gonna throw a lot at you, my man. I don't care if you feel vulnerable or you say life owes you what, but it's still gonna, and you need to block. 
And if you, if you don't block, you are doomed and you are dead. So in order for you to survive and live, you must know what it, you are strong enough. And you must pray. Amen. And when you pray, don't just pray because they told you to pray. You must believe and you must know what is your prayer, what is in prayer, what I'm praying. Besides, what are you praying for? What I'm praying? What is it that you're praying to? You need to you need to have an understanding. You need to have a connection with what you're praying to. You know, don't just be a praying man. Because if you're just a praying man, you're just going to pray forever. And nothing is just going to come right. Things are going to just going to get messed up. And that's not the reality of life. Things have to be bad, but at the end, they have to work out. Because you have to learn from that. So that when you meet other things, you know, which, oh, this is life. I need to tackle this. So, Buffett, don't be weak. In South Africa, I'm going to tell you, we are one of the weakest minded people. We learned, we've learned to adapt too much and accept too much. Me, even if I would be in chains and in shackles, I'll still stand for my truth. I still represent my truth. Even if it means I must die or I must, I must be hanged on or what, I must be sentenced. But my truth is my truth. What I know is what I know. And what I know is that everyone in this world knows the truth. Everybody knows the truth, but people choose not to go through the truth because the truth is difficult, my man. It's very difficult. It's very, very difficult. So I feel to as we grow, once again, let's try to love one another. Let's try to teach each other about the important things. Let's try to teach each other as men. These conversations that we have, instead of talking about gold, uh, or to this weekend, uh, so which I have open to one. Hey, man, I think they gave 4,000 for in, in, in. Let's talk about life. And what are you going through? What are your struggles? How can we tackle those struggles? Because in this weekend that we go to, these places of alcohol, that's where the violence starts because we are going through two things. And then we want to go there and pretend like we are fine. And then when you get there, you are not fine. Just a small thing. It triggers everything. And then you out there, you go bananas. And then you are stabbed or you have stabbed someone, you are killed or you have killed someone. Just because this thing starts from where we live, in where we stay. All these kids that you see out there, those Nyaupe kids, most of them, their problems started back at home. You see what you, what you plant in your kids. I've been a kid, that's why I'm saying this. What you plant in your kid today is what will grow tomorrow and is what he or she will reap the next day so be careful as you as you as you as you as you as you go through what you go through but make sure that you are always making sure that you tell your kids the truth the truth is very important stay away from drugs drugs are very dangerous they very addictive and they will kill you and they condemn you so good Sure, love it. Keep watching. Uh, we still have more to tell you about this, uh, about the story. The story is going on because the case is still ongoing. There's still a lot that is happening around the case. And there's still a lot that we're expecting to happen around the case. So stay tuned. We still have more content to show because we still need to educate about everything that happened in this case. People need to know and I need to educate people so that you don't go through the same things I went through.